Well, dear colleagues, welcome to Leipzig and welcome to the annual press conference of the Porsche AG. We've opened it with a drone flight through the Factory of the Year 2023, which is, of course, a great award for the plant here and the entire team at the back of it, and surely also very impressive pictures. So I'm delighted to have you all here with us, either here on site in Leipzig or digitally connected. And I'm also delighted to have the two main protagonists here with us, Oliver Blume, CEO of Porsche AG, and Lutz Meschke, Deputy CEO and the CFO. So please do join me here on stage, and then I will take over the first question to you, Oliver, because this is the very first time that we're holding the annual press conference here in Leipzig. What is so significant about this site for Porsche? Well, you know, Leipzig has been our second home for many, many years. We've got a great team here, and you know, there are more than two million cars which have been produced here. And now the new all-electric Macan, also produced here in Leipzig, and we brought it along. Well, Leipzig is also a Porsche experience center. Lutz for Porsche fans from around the world. This is something very special. So do tell us why is that the case? Well, look, these exceptional experiences that are the ones that really make our brand stand out. And here in Leipzig, you can experience our heritage and you can also really the best case drive our product highlights on the racetrack or even off-road here. I can promise you that we will continue to invest in these exceptional experiences here on site. Indeed, experiencing this, and of course the racetrack is a good key term, because we're now also adding the electrifying emotions on top of this. And let's start it by rolling the clip. Porsche has always been shaping dreams on the racetrack. Dreams that come alive through milliseconds and lap times. For a car to succeed in this environment, the complete package must be flawless. The thrill of acceleration and the sensation of control unite enthusiasts across generations. The new Taycan Turbo GT is dedicated to that enthusiasm. Every turn of the wheel, every push on the pedal is a step closer to the goal. The chase down, the fastest lap. Porsche's commitment to motorsport innovation pushes the limits of electric mobility and lap times all over the world. The new Taycan Turbo GT. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It was the beginning of a new era. At the end of 2019, we set off into a new era of mobility. This is what the Taycan stands for, for a courageous, a bold decision, a statement, an important decision at the right time. And the Taycan has become a success. This year, we lifted it to a completely new level, and we are setting and defining new courses into the future for the new all-electric Macan, for instance, and much, much more. Fascinating sports cars. This is what Porsche has been standing for. It's an iconic brand for a special spirit and the aspiration, the claim to become better. This is what we stand for, and this is what Porsche is all about. Of course, it requires big efforts, but nevertheless, we will continue doing so. Everything with a clear objective, to thrill our customers time and again. Many fulfill a dream when buying a Porsche, and this is our incentive, our stimulus, today and tomorrow. 
Our industry is changing, like our society. We look at long-term trends when it comes to the customer demands, and we invest in a very targeted manner when it comes to electrification. We drive the ramp-up of electrification, and this with uh, unremitting commitment and devotion. In 2023, we delivered good results, and Lutz is going to give the details. With this tailwind, we would like to get some more momentum, because ahead of us there are thrilling and challenging months, and we want to use them. And here we bet on what Porsche has been defined by all the time. Number one, our products. They were, are, and remain the heart of Porsche. 2024 is a Porsche product year. It marks the greatest model offensive in the history of our company. And with these cars, we lay the foundation of our success in the coming years. Two, our technology and innovations. We will bring a new trailblazing developments from the racetrack to the road for more typical Porsche performance. And we are going to lift digitalization of our vehicles to a completely new level. And three, our clear and consistent strategy. We are convinced it is possible to plan success. This is how we further developed Porsche. And we've got a clear-cut plan and a concrete concept how we're going to implement it. We are not resting on our success. And we are certainly not hiding somewhere when there is tailwind, headwind. But we are moving along our course. It is clear it will be a demanding year, but at the same time, we act on this sound foundation. Porsche, even in volatile times, shows itself to be robust in financial terms with strong KPIs and a very well-balanced sales structure. And we consider this to be the proof of our business model. It is fit for the future. And our brand is more alive and stronger than ever before. Okay, let us have a look at the details and let us start with the figures. Lutz, would you be so kind and give us an overview, please? Sure, very gladly, Oliver. Well, we closed the year 2023 very successful and highly profitable. It was the first full financial year since our IPO and we managed to meet all of our ambitious forecasts. We noticeably increased our sales revenue and operating results. Our operating result once again grew above average compared to unit sales. As you know, deliveries of new vehicles in 2023 also increased in 2023 to over 320,000 units. Our best sellers are the Cayenne and the Macan, with just under 88,000 and a good 87,000 vehicles delivered. The biggest relative gains were achieved by the 911, the 718 and the Taycan. And here, our Icon, the 911, really drove ahead of all the model series. With a plus of about 10,000 vehicles, it saw strong growth of about 24%. Our highest volume market region was North America, where we delivered about 86,000 new vehicles in 2023, and that corresponds to a significant increase of 9%. Now, the biggest growth was recorded in the overseas and emerging markets region. 52,000 customers here took delivery of their new vehicles in 2023, and that is almost 16% more than in the preceding year. In, all, in Europe, we also recorded double-digit growth. The China region continues to be characterized by a challenging economic environment, and here we carefully align the supply volume with the demand situation. And here, our priority is always to have value over volume. And that means we focus above all on value-added products, and that's driven by a good product mix with individual and highly attractive vehicles. So our global market distribution was even better balanced out in 2023. With such a well-balanced position, we can very quickly 
compensate quickly and successfully any temporary fluctuations, fluctuations in individual markets. And this is well reflected in the sales success of the group turnover. This has grown to 40.5 billion euros, which is a plus of 7.7% over the previous year. And you will also note that average sales per, per vehicle also went up to about 117,000 euros, despite the ongoing challenges in our value chain and despite the fluctuations in our China business. There are several reasons for this. Among other things, the amount of special equipment per vehicle is constantly growing. The operative group results went up by 7.36% to 7.3 billion euros. The group operating return on sales was in 2023 18 percent and this means we have met our forecast. It's a strong performance by our team because the year overall was, especially in the second half, very challenging in macroeconomic terms. This was also primarily due to the ongoing tense situation in global supply chains and that was also ended up with extraordinarily high investments in digitalization in our product and innovation portfolio as well as in our brand experience. And here, I'm just going to mention for one example the 75th anniversary of the Porsche sports car, motorsport activities and the new vehicle configurator. Nonetheless, we have kept our return on sales stable. We achieved this thanks to the following factors. Firstly, higher group sales and secondly, positive product mix and price effects. And in addition, we are also noticing once more our cost discipline is having a positive impact here. At the end of the fiscal year, net cash flow for automotive increased slightly compared to the previous year to around 4 billion euros. That corresponds to a net cash flow margin of 10 percent. So, ladies and gentlemen, here, I would like to emphasize that last year we've invested around 5 billion euros in R&D as well as in the Porsche ecosystem. And that is the highest figure ever in our company's history. So you can see Porsche is currently in the phase with the highest investments in the future. But I'll come back to that later. Now, uh, profit after tax went up from 5 billion euros to 5.5 billion euros. The earnings per only share was at 5.4 million after the preceding year. Now, our positive business development obviously also benefits our shareholders. The executive board and supervisor board will therefore propose a dividend for the preceding fiscal year of 2.5 Three one billion euros to be made. That is two point thirty euros for ordinary shares and two point thirty one for the preference shares. This distribution corresponds to forty point seven percent of the group profit after tax. Now, Porsche AG is prospectively aiming to have an annual dividend of around 50% paid out. At the end of 2023, the Porsche Group had a total of about 42,100 employees. And this corresponds to an increase of about 7.6%. Now, here we have recruited above all in the areas of R&D and IT, where we enlisted highly qualified people to strengthen our engineering and software experts. Expertise. Our subsidiaries are also developing exciting and successful products and services. MHP, the Porsche Financial Services, the Porsche Lifestyle Group, Porsche Engineering, Porsche Consulting, and Porsche Digital all contributed in 2023 positively with their own results to our corporate success. Now, in addition to our subsidiaries, we are today involved in around 50 startups in total. And you will note that all in all, since 2016, Porsche has invested about 300 million euros in startups. And the interim result is quite impressive, because the current investment book value of our portfolio is just short of 400 million euros. Our venture capital activities are also making an important strategic contribution, because they generate innovative impetus and secure our access to new technologies. And this way, we are making Porsche fit for the future. And the next big step is now going to be happening in China. Here, together with the China International Capital Corporation, Porsche intends to set up an investment fund on the Chinese mainland. By doing so, we are exploring an innovative approach to venture capital investments. So you can see, we live the pioneering spirit of Porsche.
And this brings us to an important topic, namely the investments in our business model. They are at the core of our strategy 2030. And that is why we are investing, even in challenging times, in our innovative and high-quality products, in our services, and in our ecosystem, even in such challenging times. Now, studies have shown us that the number of wealthy people who can afford our products is set to increase worldwide. And so, in this respect, Porsche has excellent long-term prospects. And to this end, we are all consciously going through the famous extra mile. Even if these investments may put pressure on returns over the short term, but the path to success on the capital market is not always a straightforward one. But we are convinced that our consistent strategy will be rewarded with an attractive valuation over the mid and long term. Now, let's have a look at our specific investments. In January 2024, we acquired the MHP Management and IT Constancy with 100%. And with this step, we want to consistently utilize MHP's growth potential. We have big plans for MHP to grow strongly also in additional technology areas such as software as a service, cybersecurity, and AI. Furthermore, we're also open for new partners and we're resolutely pushing ahead with digitization within our corporation. To this end, we plan to invest over the next five years 4 billion euros. And of these, data and AI alone will clock up 350 million euros of that. And this way, we're opening up a broad field of application. Because already today, we're using AI, for example, to optimize our customer approach to improve quality and to save costs. First applications of generative AI are already being used both in retail and in internal processes. So as you know, we founded the so-called digital family. And it brings together, well, 1,500 people coming from Porsche, MHP, and Porsche Digital. And they make us even faster, even more efficient, and even better. And we have also invested a lot of money in the digitalization of the vehicle. In the first quarter of 2024 alone, we've invested a mid-triple-digit million amount in digital and software were partnerships. And that includes, amongst others, an investment in applied innovation coming from the Silicon Valley. It's an investment that will strengthen Porsche's expertise in AI and customer experience. Moreover, with this company from the Mountain View, we have also started a development partnership, another cooperation to strengthen our software expertise is one that nicely will round out our activities within the Volkswagen Group. Any details on these corporations is something we cannot disclose as of today, but you can see I'm highly satisfied with them. You and I may look forward to some interesting news coming over the next three weeks. So let's just be surprised. Now, a word about car IT, Oliver will tell you a little more in a minute, as he will talk you through our product offensive 2024 for which we have also made significant investments. Now, in view of our robust order book and our strong product mix, we expect for 2024 to generate sales revenues anywhere around 40 to 42 billion euros. But at the same time, we do expect stronger headwinds given the global economic conditions. And therefore, in the product year 2023-4, we expect to have a group operating return anywhere in the range between 15 to 17%. For the coming years, we are convinced that our exclusive range of new vehicles will continue to bring our margin still further. At the same time, we're pushing ahead with our ambitious Road to 20 program. Now, Road to 20 is a strategic program geared for the future with carefully managed and planned and liaised measures. And these are now systematically really brought and bundled together. And here, we're also putting money onto the table because our aim to strengthen the profitability of Porsche. Over the long term, we want to develop an operative group return of over 20%. So, finally, I can assure you that in 2024, we will once again do everything to inspire our customers and shareholders and to enthuse them with pioneering spirit, with passion, 
and sportiness. And with that, I'll hand back over to Oliver. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lutz. The core of Porsche, our products. Here we see our tradition and our values, and they are merged with most advanced technologies in order to make all our customers fulfill their dreams. And with our fascinating products, we are going to move forward in 2024. And never ever before have there been so many SOPs or launches in one year. Let us start with a new McCann. It is our long-term bestseller, and now it is all electric, and we are convinced that it will be the sportiest model in its segment. Aerodynamics, connectivity, range, driving dynamics. We believe that with the innovations in the new Macan, we are going to define benchmarks and at the same time strategic milestones. The new all-electric Macan is the first car based on our new premium platform electric. It is being produced here in Leipzig and in one line with on one assembly line like it uh, together with his predecessor, which is powered by an ACE. This offers maximum flexibility in order to meet precisely the requirements of the market. And demand is developing very well, and we begin the deliveries to our customers in the second half of the year. And then the Taycan. With it, the era of electromobility has been ushered in at Porsche. Almost 150,000 units have been produced so far. Last year alone, we delivered more than 40,000 units, 70% more year over year, and that, uh, you know, this is the year of the first generation. And you see, electromobility made by Porsche is convincing, and now the next generation of the Taycan, and I can say, in almost every aspect, it's even better. The new versions have got more power, more range, accelerate faster, and they charge faster and more robust. And in terms of performance, we achieve a completely new level. And if you were here yesterday, then you have experienced it. For the first time, we now take our GT tradition into the electric era with the Taycan Turbo GT, a car made for the racetrack, a car made for records. And with the new Taycan and the all-electric Macan, we demonstrate this is our aspiration when it comes to performance and quality in the forthcoming years. And also with the new KM, we really, you know, quicken the space, so to, uh, pace, so to speak. We have uh, further developed, enhanced our successful SUV portfolio, the drive units, the chassis, the design, the equipment, and the operating concept. We introduced a third hybrid variant, and that with the Turbo E hybrid, the most powerful KN of all time. And this means we are going to make the bandwidth between performance and luxurious everyday comfort even larger. And this is also true for the new Panamera, thank you its high-end chassis. The third model generation is more digital, more luxurious, and more efficient. It also offers more powerful drive units and a completely new operating concept. And here we enhanced our hybrid offering as well. And last but not least, our icon, the 911. For more than 60 years, we have improved it again, time and again. Step by step, we push the envelope. We go beyond what seemed to be possible. And all that, without telling you too much, the 911 in 2024 will thrill you with technological innovations. And this with a high-performance hybrid drive, all coming from motorsports. And with these new launches, we put the company into an ideal starting position for the forthcoming years. And over the past 12 months, we have updated four of the six model lineups, lineups and within 9-11, the fifth will be added shortly. And this means we are going to have a completely new product portfolio in the marketplace, widely spread with innovative drive technologies. And this means we meet 
meet very diverse customer wishes everywhere in the world. And with the new models, we have the average age of our portfolio and we keep it fresh and attractive also for the forthcoming years. The quality of our product has got the highest uh, you know, priority for our customers. The feedback of our customers shows us we are right on track. We are still given top ranks in the JD Power Premium brand ranking. And this in terms of customer uh, satisfaction and uh, new cars, but also custom experience and used cars. And also our quality program has an effect. For 2023, we can say that we had the historically low numbers of complaints or breakdowns. Quality is an obligation, day in, day out. But it is also clear, so many launches in such a short time, you know, they are an enormously complex task. We therefore tackle it considerately thinking. And there are other challenges. The geopolitical situation remains tense. We've got partially very volatile supply chains. And then there are changes in some markets, in China, for instance. All this has to be dealt with by us. But now, let me sum up. 2024, it is a Porsche product year, with more launches than ever before, fascinating new models, and this means a clearly younger portfolio, but also a highly complex task for the entire team. And I can say we prepared ourselves with farsightedness and laid a sound foundation in order to be upbeat and optimistic, or in other words, you know, We've got many trumps in our hands and we are going to play them. All right, now about another fixed point for Porsche, technology and innovation. Pioneering spirit can be seen through the entire history of our company in every model, innovations which set standards, which underpin our technological leadership role in the car industry. That's our aspiration. And we set new standards with a new high-end chassis, active ride, for instance. It creates a bandwidth between comfort and dynamism, which has never been available before. Braking, steering accelerating, active ride will keep the car always in a horizontal position, level position. It will absorb any buffeting, any uh, knocks or pushes completely. And the system decides based on sensors whether the wheel is to, you know, move in, up or down. And all this highly frequently, that is very frequently, many times per second. And if I like, you know, can even compensate it for. And this is almost Almost like a bike going round corners, an incredible driving experience. And in this form, in this reproducibility, is an absolute world novelty. And now the HD matrix, the LED light, 32,000 individually selectable or activable micro LEDs per light, bright, homogeneous, precise light. And, you know, it ju adjusts dynamically every 16 mill milliseconds a new and it creates new possibilities, you know, brightening the lane, then light for construction sites or bottlenecks, narrow road studies or special motorway light. And all this is unique in the world. And another good example, our plug-in sport hybrids. And I'm sure that every one of you will remember the super sports car, the 918 Spider. And today we have uh, the new Cayenne and the Panamera. And I can say we've got top values when it comes to the system performance and the charging speed range will go up 90 kilometers in all electric mode and this because of the good high voltage battery and this makes sure we have a perfect triad of permanent performance efficiency and everyday usability this is what it is all about the sportiest plug-in hybrids of the world and we raise digitalization of our vehicles to a new level you know our aspiration our requirement when it comes to exclusivity, performance, quality, design, and driving dynamics. And I can say, when it comes to digitalization, our aspiration is not a little bit less. And depending on that, in our new board um, member depa board department, Car IT, and it is headed by Sayyad Khan.
And he's been with us for four months, and I can say it is really an enormous reinforcement for us. He set the right impulses, and this closely cooperating with our development board member, Michael Steiner. And I can say that they adjust their work looking at this question, what do customers expect from Porsche? And we give the answer, offering the new, again improved driver experience. It now comprises a head-up display with an augmented reality technology. Navigation arrows and other elements are being seamlessly integrated into the real world. And the picture, you know, appears about 10 meters ahead of the driver, and this corresponds to a display of 87 inches. And in addition, the vehicle functions can also be controlled by my Porsche app and that directly in the Apple CarPlay. Now, this is an innovative, personalized user experience, and we offer it as the first manufacturer worldwide. And of course, we set new standards when it comes to route planning or charging planning. You know, it calculates the best route, including charging stops at Dasso within seconds, depending on the traffic situation and also based on a number of selected options. And at the same time, it will prepare the battery for the next planned charging stop. Now, with these digital applications, we are really at the top of worldwide competition. And one more point. The performance of the new Taycan, and we felt it yesterday, you know, everything that we learned over the last five years with this new Taycan, you will find it in this car. A new, even more powerful e machine at the rear axle, new cell chemistry in the HV battery for more power with the same packaging, push to pass or attack mode. Now, this is engine sports technology in a volume car, new combined boost converter for top values when it comes to high performance charging. And this means higher recuperation of up to 400 kilowatts, less weight despite better standard or volume equipment. And of course, the Porsche Active Ride chassis for an even wider spread between comfort and performance. Well, you know, innovations at Porsche come from motorsports. And we started the year successfully with the victory at the endurance rate, 24 hours, Daytona, and the prestige, prestigious race in Northern America with a 963 LMDH Le Mans Daytona hybrid. The racetrack is and remains the harshest, the hardest test field for innovations, which we want to transfer to our volume cars later. We are convinced with all these innovations, we set new technology, technological benchmarks. And again, we define what Porsche is all about, incomparable design and uncompromising high quality, the typical Porsche performance and a unique driving experience with a focus on fast traveling and sustainability. Everything we do is backed by a clear, consistent strategy and a specific plan how we implement everything. Our Porsche strategy for 2030 with the four carrying columns, product, customer, transformation and sustainability. Based on that, the 10 most important fields of action for the current year, our 10-point program. We understand our strategy as a long-term compass. Our annual programs are the leadership instrument, our strategy flexible, and all this is to be implemented, taking into account changing framework or general conditions. I talked about our products in the beginning in detail. We therefore want to have a closer look at the customer. In 2023, we celebrated 75 years of Porsche sports cars. This was a special anniversary with lots and lots of great events, racing sport reunion in California. It was the largest event which um, Porsche has organized anywhere in the world. There were 91,000 Porsche fans there, and the Porsche Festival at the Hockenheim Ring, also 80,000 fans came there. And all this showed us Porsche is an icon which has the power to bring together people 
across generation, everywhere in the world. And at the same time, Porsche is exclusive, is highly individual, and of course, it enables many to fulfill their own personal dreams. We believe this combination does not exist anywhere in the car world. This profile will be sharpened even further with more possibilities to design and configure your Porsche even more individually, down to the very last detail. And this including exclusive, unique units. And this will be complemented by our exclusive manufacturing and the, including the legendary Special Wish program, which has been reinterpreted and enhanced. And we offer unlimited possibilities to our customers for or with unusual products. And of course, we want to thrill our customers everywhere, everywhere where they get in touch with our brand. And we therefore created innovative sales formats. Our new Porsche studio in Singapore, for instance, or our pop-up concept Porsche Now, and then attractive metrop in all attractive metropolises of the world. Thrilling places, and they will all be given a chance to experience our brand. Also with our new concept, the destination Porsche, we build a position to place the customer experience center stage with more than 600 projects. We are going to roll it off by the end of the decade in all existing Porsche centers. And customer service, a central contact point. And, you know, we brought it back in Europe and introduced the new customer relations hubs. And with our Porsche charging lounges, we are setting up a unique network of fast charging parks exclusively for our Porsche customers. And then the transformation. Never ever before in the history, our industry has changed so fundamentally. Now that's a major challenge for each and every car maker. It's a marathon race. And I would put it like this, about one third is the distance which we've covered already, but it means, well, we still have got some distance to go. And this means we need stamina, persistence. In crucial points, we all, at crucial points, we also need the necessary speed and a clear focus. And we know that we will be able to manage this only as a team. Therefore, we are working on changing the company together. It is an important component when it comes to qualification and, you know, upskilling. We look at where do we need which new abilities, where can we position ourselves in a more lean way. About 5,000 colleagues are going to take on new tasks step by step, and they will bring in their long-term experience and their abilities. And now... The last point, sustainability has been firmly embedded in our strategy. For us, it is one of the most important responsibilities of our times. It is the job, the task of all of us to keep this world a livable world, particularly for future generations. And we understand sustainability holistically, economically, ecologically and socially. For us, this means economic success, ecological awareness and social responsibility are not contradictions in terms. No, they complement each other. Our target is sustainable and value-creating worth or growth, sorry. Therefore, electrification of our portfolio means in 2030, more than 80% of our new cars are to be electric and to be delivered to our customers. All electric, and that's what we want to do, depending, of course, on demand and development of our electromobility in the world regions. We've taken many steps in this respect. At our site in Zuffenhausen, Weissach, and here in Leipzig, we are working neutrally in terms of CO2 emissions. And we want to say, in 2030, the value 
chain of our newly produced cars is to be neutral in terms of CO2 emissions, from manufacturing to use to recycling. And this means we have the ambition to reduce by 2030 the green gas, greenhouse emissions in the use phase of Porsche, uh, Porsche cars by 70% compared to 2022. The all-electric McCann is an important step to achieve achieve this target. It is being produced here in Leipzig neutral in terms of CO2 emissions. The plant gets 100% green power and in addition it covers its heat requirements using biomethane and biomass. We also support the expansion of and the further enhancement or development of renewable energies in order to cover our electricity we need and this you know will be needed. And and surely there are some more. We've got certain partner companies and we have introduced optimization processes when it comes to recycling of high voltage batteries, which contain a lot of valuable raw materials, which can be further used. We understand us to be a partner of society. We take on responsibility at our sites worldwide. This is our social commitment. And a great example, Racing for Charity last year in Le Mans. Per lap covered, we donated 750 euros. At the end, we had a total of 911,000 euros for social projects. But, you know, social responsibility also includes we are against any kind of discrimination a level playing field, equal opportunities, and promoting diversity, that's one of our leadership ideals. Porsche code is firmly embedded. This is true for Porsche, and this goes beyond the plant's gates. We show and stand up for democracy and freedom, for diversity and openness, for respect and tolerance. Together, we stand up for everything what, our, what has made our country strong over the last decades. Now, let me sum up. We've got a clear, consistent strategy, a specific plan for implementation, and even in volatile times, we are right on track. Our focus is on products, on wishes of our customers, on transformation and on sustainability. And Porsche assumes responsibility for the society to do the right things in the right way. That's what it is all about. That's what we focus on. And we have had lots of successes in this respect over many, many years. Now, this is thanks to the entire Porsche team. Therefore, dear colleagues, thank you very much for your outstanding devotion and commitment. You are a fantastic team. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2023, Porsche delivered and generated a powerful result. We were able to balance out sales across the regions. More than 40,000 Taycan deliveries demonstrate electric mobility at Porsche is a big success. Now, 2024 will be a Porsche product year with more launches than ever before. And this this means we will have an almost completely new portfolio in the marketplace by 2025. We are going to expand our exclusive offerings and we are really on track with our activities to increase our returns and yields like the road to 20. With our midterm and long-term guidance, we act from a position of strength and we are guided by what Porsche has been standing for over the last 75 years. We fulfill dreams. We create unique moments which you will never ever forget. Values which remain and which will bring us together forever at whatever the time brings. Always timeless. This is the character of Porsche. It governs all.
stars, planets, life. We know it by the sun rising and setting and all 86,000 seconds of each day. Time, in truth, an unyielding ruler. It is here and then it is gone. The question time asks us is, what will we do with each moment? And can we make the ones to come better than the ones we have known? At Portia, time is not a restraint. It is a call, a call to transcend it, to birth dreams, to scintillate senses, to forge out of raw materials and human passion, timelessness. All that so you might, in brief flashes or during long winding stretches, completely, utterly, forget time even exists.